What is that? It's a double espresso. It's the cheapest drink at Starbucks, two seventy-five. But I wanted my drink in a big plastic cup full of healthy cream substitutes. What's your order then? Okay, well I want an iced espresso in a venti cup. Venti cup. With oat milk, almond milk, coconut milk, heavy cream. It's not healthy. Add whipped cream. It's not gonna be two seventy-five anymore. What does it say? Two seventy-five. That's two seventy. Now this is the cheapest drink at Starbucks. Well, so is this. Starbucks hack number two. Venti iced coffee, $2.45, 24 ounces. Let's see how many ounces we have without the ice. Oh my gosh. 10 ounces? Next time you go to Starbucks, make sure to get your iced coffee with the ice on the side. And just like that, you can get two venti iced coffees for the price of one. Oh! <laughs> Starbucks hack number three, the budget macchiato. Go to Starbucks and order a fresh brewed coffee. Ask for steamed milk. They don't advertise this, but adding steamed milk is free. Now, add vanilla syrup, 50 cents. Add caramel drizzle on top, 60 cents. And regardless of the size of the drink, this hack will save you $2. Guys, if you're ordering a caramel macchiato at Starbucks, you're getting ripped off. Starbucks hack number five, free coffee. Next time you go to Starbucks, ask for an empty cup, lid, and coffee sleeve. Then go to the nearest Holiday Inn and fill up your cup with their complimentary coffee. Now give it to a friend. They'll think you're an amazing person for giving them overpriced coffee and it costs you zero dollars. If you want more amazing hacks to save you money, visit healthyjunkfood.com slash ebook to learn more. Things you didn't know at Starbucks. Vanilla sweet cream cold foam costs $1.25 and is delicious. Whipped cream costs $0 and is also delicious. But did you know both are a combination of heavy cream, 2% milk, and vanilla? I didn't know that. The only difference is the foam is whipped up in a blender and the whipped cream uses nitrous oxide. Oh my god. As you can see, the foam is much thicker and richer, similar to the topping you receive on Butterbeer at Universal Studios. Is the foam worth $1.25 or asking for extra free whipped cream the way to go. Either way, these are some Today online I read that if you pay for Starbucks with a high bill, they're not allowed to accept it, so they're left with no choice but to give you a free drink. Hi, can I just get a medicine ball? Anything else? Oh, that'd be all. Wait, 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 what? They're not allowed to accept it, so they're left with no choice but to give you a free drink. Cap! So we went to Starbucks. What do you got? $100. Uh, do you have anything lower by any chance? They definitely weren't giving me a free drink. I can still do it. It's just going to be a lot of like... Debunk! Then we go to Wendy's. I got a hundred. Okay, so so they definitely don't take a hundred. Then we go to Chipotle. 40, 60, 70, 85. You do not get a free meal. You do not get a free drink. You do not pass go. You do not keep your $100. <laughs> don't do this hack. Don't piss them off. Pumpkin spice latte, $6.45. The hack version, $2.45. Here's how to do it. Starbucks hack number seven, half price pumpkin spice. Order an iced espresso roast, two shots, cup option grande. Now click customize, scroll down, add sauces. Each pump of pumpkin spice is 20 cents. Whipped cream is free. All of these creamers are free. But if you add it to the pumpkin spice latte, it's an additional 70 cents. <laughs> Here's a screenshot of the entire breakdown. I would highly recommend leaving the 50 cent pumpkin spice topping out. It's purely aesthetic. Don't get ripped off. And just check these drinks out. Oh my God. If you like this hack, go to healthyjunkfood.com slash ebook and don't get ripped off. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's a bee! Ah!